Decision statements can also be nested inside each other. The compiler will check to see if the first condition is true. If this condition is true, the compiler will move on to the second decision statement. If this condition is true, then statement A is executed. If the first condition is false, the compiler will bypass all the statements inside the corresponding curly brackets, including the nested decision statement. In this example, we have asked the user to enter their age. When the user inputs a value, the compiler assigns that value to the variable age. Here, the user enters the value 17. 17 is assigned to the variable age. The decision statement then evaluates whether the condition is true. Is 17 greater than or equal to 15? Since 17 is greater than 15, this condition is true. Therefore, we enter the decision statement. Here we have another decision statement. The condition for this decision statement is evaluated. Since 17 is less than 18, this condition is true. Therefore, the statement is executed. When using nested decision statements, it is very important that your opening and closing brackets correspond. These brackets correspond to the outer decision statement. These brackets correspond to the inner decision statement. Forgetting to put the corresponding opening and closing brackets may cause a syntax or logical error in your program. Here, the programmer has forgotten to place the closing bracket at the end of the nested decision statement. So, the compiler automatically uses the closing bracket of the outer decision statement. The outer decision statement will use the closing bracket of the main function. This leaves the main function without a corresponding closing bracket and will result in a syntax error. Decision statements can also include multiple conditions. Logical operators are often used to combine these criteria together.
With the AND operator, we can combine two conditions into one decision statement. Using our previous example, we will let the condition of our outer decision statement be condition 1 and the condition of our inner decision statement be condition 2. Here we have combined both conditions into one decision statement. The first condition evaluates whether the value of age is greater than or equal to 15. Next, we use the AND operator to combine the second condition. The second condition evaluates if the value of age is less than 18. The AND operator is a useful tool for combining conditions together. However, the AND operator requires that both conditions must be true in order to execute the statement. Here, the user enters the value 29. 29 is then stored in the variable age. This statement will not execute unless both conditions are true. Twenty nine is greater than fifteen, but it is not less than eighteen. Therefore, the, de the decision statement is bypassed. Twenty nine is greater than fifteen but it is not less than 18. Therefore, the decision statement is bypassed. The OR operator only requires one of the conditions to be true. In this example, the condition evaluates to see if the value of number is not equal to 12 or if the value of number is not equal to 9. This statement will execute as long as the user does not enter a 12 or 9. Here, the user enters the value 5. Since 5 is not equal to 12 or 5 is not equal to 9, the statement is executed. When combining conditions into one decision statement, also remember to include the control variable for each condition. This concludes our section on decision statements. Next, we will be discussing switch statements.